Okay, this is take six. Camera's rolling. Let's do it again. <laughs> How you doing? Dean Kirk on the countdown. Back on the fancy countdown. Fancy playlist of August 29th, 1987. Going from Echo and the Bunny Man to Janet Jackson now to Smokey Robinson. A legendary Smokey Robinson at number 28. Up nine from 37 with one heartbeat. And this was a top 10 for Smokey Robson with the number 10, the first single off the album, which was of the same name, by the way, One Heartbeat, Just to See Her, went to number 8, Spring and Summer of 1987. Boy, what a splendid year for Smokey Robson. ABC had this fantastic record. Remember ABC? I think I like about every hit single they put out. Uh, they put out uh, when Smokey Sings, and a tribute to Smokey Robson. They did a big hit back in the summer of 87 and coming up later on in this in this on this fancy playlist. Now, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles uh, started out back in the 50s. When they first started out, they played the Apollo, the legendary Apollo. And you know how merciless, uh, they don't show too much mercy over there at the Apollo. Their show did not go well. Uh, Smokey Robinson and the Miracles, they fared so poorly I guess in their performance that the manager asked for their asked for his money back. But so far, but since then, it's obviously been a success story. Smokey Robinson, though, having his ups and downs, uh, actually, Just a Seer would be his uh, first top ten in about six years. But I'll go into more more into that in just a few minutes. The song was written one heartbeat, written by two guys, Brian Ray. American session musician, along with Steve Legasic. Steve Legasic, a keyboard player. Brian Ray, he was in a band. He played in a band called Cracking. Two of his friends, they went on to produce for Smokey Robinson and the Temptations. They gave him a call. They gave Brian Ray a call. His friends did. They said, guess what? We're producing for Smokey Robinson. And Brian Ray goes, man, that's great. You know, I've been writing songs for the last two years. I've been putting my heart and soul. I think I can write some good songs. I'd like to do something with this uh, hobby, with this career, or make it into a career. I would like to submit a song for Smokey Robinson. And these two guys go, well, you know what? Smokey is pretty good. He's doing pretty good on his own. He writes his own songs. He doesn't need your songs. Brian Ray was crestfallen. He was crushed. Doggone it, man. Two of my friends, they won't let me submit a song for Smokey Robinson? I mean, what? So he goes back to his songwriting partner, uh, Steve Legasic. He tells Steve Legasic, well, they won't take my song. And Legasic goes, just chill out, man. Just chill out. You got a great title called One Heartbeat. Let's build a song around that title. And let's submit it. Let's do it anyway. They made the song that Thursday. They made the song. They demoed the song. They put the song on cassette. They submitted the song on Friday. And guess what? That Sunday, they got a call from somebody who worked with Smokey Robinson. They said, look. He said, look, Smokey Robinson likes your song. Bring all the stuff with you, all the instruments that you made on the demo, including that 32-track digital board that you used in the song, all the instruments that you played on the, on the song. We're going to make the song just like the demo because it's so good. And that's what they did. Steve Legasic and Robbie Buchanan, they played keyboards on the record. And Brian Ray, he did the guitar. He played the guitars along with, he did the drum programming. Kenny G played the saxophone. He provided that signature saxophone solo in the record. One Heartbeat by Smokey Robson. The song started, the song was, it was put on an album. And before you know it, it was a, it was the title of the album and it was released as a single and went top 10. Smokey Robson and the Miracles. Boy, I tell you what, 
shop around back in 1960, bring back some memories. The Tracks of My Tears, best known for The Tracks of My Tears, I second that motion. But those other Lost 45s that you don't hear that much anymore, including the thundering percussion of going to a go-go back in late 65, early 66, and baby, baby, don't cry. That high falsetto of Smokey Robinson, so that tenderness. He, he's not afraid. He wasn't afraid to expose his vulnerability. Baby, baby, don't cry. 1969, of course, Tears of a Clown, one of the most powerful songs ever in 1970. And, of course, another personal favorite of, of mine by Smokey Robinson. Oh, my goodness. I don't blame you at all. Back in the spring of 1971. Boy, getting goosebumps. Thinking about these songs. Now, Smokey Robinson, he left the Miracles in 1972. He had some moderate crossover success in the 70s for a while. He did Baby Come Close, a nice smooth R&B record in 1973. And Baby, That's Back At You, he did that one in 1975. Not really, just top 30 things that he put on, uh, top 40, top 30 things he put on Billboard's Hot 100. Had a number of R&B hits in the, in the 70s. But then late 79, early 1980, he Roared right back into life with cruising, which uh, would uh, which number it was a top ten, top five single, and being with you a year after that in the spring of eighty one went to number two. But do you remember a song he did with Rick James? Boy, it was a powerful R and B record, a quiet storm record of sorts. Him and Rick James doing Ebony Eyes. Boy, I remember watching that video on Night Tracks back in nineteen eighty four. It might have been eighty five. And uh, although that went to number 43 on Billboard's Hot 100, and then we got Just to See Her and One Heartbeat. One Heartbeat coming in at number 28 on my fantasy playlist of August 29th, 1987.